We're going to Port Aransas today, do some shopping and have lunch, maybe day for dinner, I don't know. We were supposed to have dinner in Rockport yesterday and then... Our anniversary dinner. On our, yeah, <laughs> it got postponed. We ended up just going back home and ordering Domino's. <laughs> Nothing says romantic dinner like Domino's, baby. Yeah, for your 50th anniversary, what a way to celebrate. So we're waiting to get onto the ferry in Port Aransas. Let's see how long a wait we have. It said 15 minute wait. Hopefully we're not here too long. Doesn't like, look like there's too many vehicles. You know, one, two. Looks like they got four different boats running back and forth. So we've never been on a ferry with our truck before. <laughs> I don't know. First time I've a vehicle. Yeah, I've never been on a ferry with a vehicle. So are you nervous about driving it onto the ferry? <laughs> Should I be? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how it works. I'd be a little bit nervous if we had the fifth wheel on the back. That would be a little more nervous. Yeah. Just, just driving into a park. Apparently, you can take a fifth wheel on here. There is bridge access to Port A as well, but it seems like a little more fun. I want to see some dolphins. Apparently, when you take the ferry, you just might see some dolphins. Here we go. Go to drive onto a ferry for the first time. Making it on. <laughs> oh, there we go. We are on the ferry. This is so weird having your vehicle being pulled by a boat. It's just a few minute ferry ride over to Port Aransas. We're on the inside. I was hoping to be on the outside. Maybe we'll see some dolphins. to it with all the colorful houses in Port Aransas. You're actually allowed to drive on the beach and uh, we're driving on the sand. The water is very rough. Look at all the vehicles on this beach. They have like wood pillars so you can't actually drive close to the water but you just park right on the sand. So this jellyfish just washed up on shore. We're not sure if it's dead or alive, but Corey's gonna try and put it back in the water. Oh, he already got his feet soaked because the wave came up so high. Oh, poor thing. I don't know if it's dead or alive, but put it back in the water and try and save it. Oh my God, I can't believe you're carrying it. <laughs> Hurry up, put it in, just throw it. Oh, poor thing. I hope it's alive. Hopefully we saved you, little guy. I don't think it's alive. No, I don't think so. Good job, babe. Like a doctor, saving lives. <laughs> don't get too excited. And if uh, someone has a heart attack, you should still call 911. We'll be sure to do that. I'm just gonna wait and see if Corey gets his feet soaked again because he doesn't learn his lesson the first time. It's a little bit hazy out here. I'm not sure if it's just from sand kicking up or what it's from. Look at how far the water comes up. It's calm, like the wave, it's rough, but it doesn't seem like they're big waves, but it comes up pretty far. Port Aransas has lots of these little restaurants around the island, so we decided to go get something for lunch. ended up at a place called Lilo's and uh, had something to eat 
and then headed back to the beach. down at the end and people already warned us that we will get wet which I'm not afraid about getting wet I just don't want to get washed into the ocean so and the waves are extremely rough down there Headed back the long walk. Yeah, I worked up an appetite again. We gotta go find somewhere to have dinner. Again, there's a number of different options for restaurants. It's a great area, especially if you like seafood. There are several seafood restaurants. We don't normally eat a lot of seafood, but I think today uh, I'm gonna give it a try. Uh, we found this great little area down by the marina and the Fisherman's Wharf. There was several restaurants, there was Grumbles. We settled on Virginia's on the Bay. It was open air seating inside of the restaurant. We had a table right by the windows. All the windows were open, so we had a great view of the marina. I went with the blackened mahi-mahi and the grilled shrimp. And then I got a couple of these coconut shrimp on the side to try. Uh, the mahi-mahi was actually delicious. I, I was a big fan. I was a little bit surprised because I don't normally eat fish unless it's fish and chips, but it was actually really good. And the shrimp were very good. Uh, Tina just ordered the vegetarian dinner and she was not that impressed by it. And I can't say I blame her. It wasn't the greatest. Anyways, it was time to head back. This time we got to the front of the boat, which was a little bit better. We had a much better view. You can see the lights in the harbor and the ships. It was kind of nice. Overall, we had a really good day in Port Aransas. It was a nice way to spend a day. You can camp down there. There's RV parks as well. Uh, we stayed in Aransas Pass, but uh, yeah, we would definitely go back to Port Aransas if we're in the area again. Yeah. 